Those at the cross threw Jesus' claims back in his face as he died in agony. How painful that must have been for Jesus. Let this Messiah, this King of Israel, come down now from the cross that we may see and believe. Here, those at the cross mockingly call Jesus both the Messiah and the King of Israel. Now, the Messiah was the one whom God had anointed, the Chosen One. And the King of Israel was the one whom God had chosen to be his anointed and powerful ruler. Those at the cross are throwing both of these titles into the face of the Saviour in his darkest hour, telling him that he is neither chosen or favoured by God, nor does he have any power whatsoever. They taunt him with the apparently logical conclusion that if he were favoured by God, and if he had any power, he would come down from the cross. If Christ were to do that, they say, then they would believe. This was simply the culmination of the Jews' unbelief. As Jesus had said to them in John chapter 4 and verse 48, unless you people see signs and wonders, you will never believe. The cross crystallizes the true basis of faith. Why do you believe? Is it because of the blessings that you have apparently received? Is it because of the evident favor of God upon you? Or because of signs and miracles? Or do you believe despite the current circumstances, simply because you trust? Do you hold firm to Jesus, even when his power in your life isn't manifested in apparent glory, but in the suffering of the cross. Thank you.